Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. So today we're going to look into the project Grim. We're going to see what it's all about. You can see the wallets, miners, pools, everything you need to know to get up and mining this coin. Also, we're going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. Now let's get into it. All right, so as you guys know, I do a lot of speculative coin mining and Grim was brought to my attention. So I thought I'd give a little bit of a peekaboo into it, look at it for myself and see what it's all about. So in this video, we're gonna go and check out their Bitcoin talk, the website, how much you can expect to make in a 24 hour period and see what the current price of it is on an exchange. So now let's dive in and check out the Bitcoin talk on Grim. All right, so here we are in the Bitcoin talk. Again, everything as usual that I'm talking about will be down below in the description. So don't worry about looking for any of this information on your own. All right, so let's scroll down here real quick. I only got a couple of pointers. I'm not gonna read this verbatim and bore you guys. So fully private, but optionally transparent. Grim is fundamentally private and powered by Mimble Wimble protocol. Blockchain does not store transactions and addresses. Grim operates on a confidential transactions and uses a blinding factor that encrypts all inputs and outputs along with their public and private keys. Scalable, Grim grows with the number of users and transactional data stored on a blockchain does not increase as nodes store only unused outputs and block headers. As a result, the weight of the blockchain is reduced by several times and confidential asset change or CAC. New blockchains created on the Grim platform are called confidential asset change or CAC. Basically, these are Grim custom forks that can dynamically receive updates from the main Grim blockchain. Unlike to the concept of colored tokens, these assets are completely independent from the main blockchain. That solves the problem of scalability of networks offering the creation assets for projects and businesses. All right, so let's check out some of the specs here on it. It's got no ICO, no IEO, no pre-mine, and no fundraising. Proof of work algorithm is Grim Pow, which is a variation of the Equihash 150 underscore five, and it is ASIC resistant. I like that. Max supply 262 million, a little bit high for my liking, but not, at least it's not in the billions. A um, Couple of points on there, direction, Turing complete smart contracts and dApps working with confidential asset change. Those are uh, kind of interesting to me. Real quick, have you guys heard of Grin before watching this video? If you have, type a yes or no below. Yes if you have, no if you haven't. I'm always interested in your guys' thoughts on these things and whether you've heard of these some of these projects that I go over or not. So do that real quick before we go on. So this is the Bitcoin talk again. Links to this will be down below if you guys want to further read over some of this material. Here is their website. Like I said, this will be down below as well. One thing I wanted to point out on their website, if you scroll down here, block reward is 100 grim. That wasn't pointed out in the Bitcoin talk, but I thought you guys might find that interesting. 100 grim per block if you decided to maybe solo mine it. All right, so that's it on a brief overview of Grim. Now let's get into how to mine it. And first off, we're going to need a wallet. All right, so the wallet's over here on GitHub, which is right here. This is the pre-release, but I'm using that on my computer right now. 
Grim Wallet Mainnet 10.2. You would just go ahead, at least as far as me, I got a Windows machine, so you just click on Windows 10.2 Exec. If you got a Mac, it's right there, or Linux right there. But you would just download this to your machine, you would run it. You're gonna to need to copy down your secret words, 12 words, and then you're gonna to need to type a few of those back in. Then you got to create a password, and then you should be good to go. So let me minimize this. Here is my Grim Wallet on the desktop. So let me just double click on that and click on full node, and I'm gonna enter my password real quick. All right, so here we are loaded. You can see I got 67 Grim. One thing that I didn't really like about the wallet, I mean, it's a cool looking wallet, but some of these are kind of hard to see. So maybe in a future version, if some of the devs are actually watching this video, this green right here, maybe make it a little more bold so you can kind of see what it is. I didn't, I couldn't find a setting in the actual wallet, but you know, it's, it's not, not a big deal. Just something um, that I thought would make it a little easier to see what's going on within the wallet. So what we're going to need to mine with, of course, is an address. So you just click on addresses and you're going to get an address with this that's going to expire, so you're not going to want to use that. So we're going to click Create right here, and just put whatever kind of comment you want in there. I put in video mining on my other one, so let's just say Test right here. And see how it says expires right there, 24 hours. You're going to want to click right there and just click Never. So now we just click Close, and you can see Test right there, and it expires Never. Here's another address right here that I did. You can see it expires and one day from now. So you make sure that that address does not expire. So once you have that address ready to go, you just right click on it, click copy, and it will copy that mining address. So next thing we're going to need is the actual miners. All right, so let me go ahead and minimize this, pull this back up. The miner I'm using is G Miner, which works on both AMD and NVIDIA, which is a good thing. That bad file for both these miners will be down below in the description, but it also comes pre-equipped with the miner itself. So again, I've got a Windows rig, so you just click right here and download that to your rig. And let me go ahead and pull my rig up. This is the miner going right now. Let me minimize that. You pull up the folder, I unzipped it, called it Gminer 1.7 Grim. So you're just going to go into that folder right there. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see mine underscore Grim. It's already got the bad file for you. But again, it will be down there below in case you wanted to actually use that file that's already edited. So the only thing you're going to have to edit in this actual file is the pool, which we'll get to that in a sec. There's only two pools right now to choose from. But of course, you're going to want to put your wallet address in right here which you just got from your wallet, which is right there. Just click copy. So let me pull that back up, paste it right in there. And rig identifier, that's totally up to you. You can leave that blank or name it whatever you want. Just, I like to do that so I can see it on the actual pool. So once you do that, you can just click save. If you're copying this file from down below this video, put all of this information in the notepad and then you just click file, save as. Make sure it's in that G minor folder. And I'm just going to call this run one dot. Make sure it's a dot BAT file or it will not work. And just click save. So now you've got your file ready to go. And if I scroll down, there's the file I just created. So to get this up and mining, you just double click on the file you just created. Or if you just wanted to edit that and save it, you just double click on it and it will pull up and start mining. And again, this is what the actual miner looks like. So let's hop over to the pool and see what that looks like. All right, so here we are in the pools. This is ravepool.com. Like I said, there's only two pools. So you're just gonna enter your wallet address up here and hit return and it will show you your stats. As you can see, my current, my current hash rate is 45 souls. But if you go down here, you can see there's the NVIDIA rig, which is my rig. That's why I like to put the rig identifier in there. And over 24 hours, 69.42 souls on average. It's kind of hard to see this right here, but it says I've got 90 confirmed grim. I've got 109 total pending, and I've already been paid 67. If we head back over to the actual wallet, 
click on dashboard, you can see the 67 right there. So been about just been about 24 hours since I've been mining this. Estimated daily reward is 230, which is pretty close right now. But we can go ahead and head over to miner stat and you guys can see how much you can expect to mine in a 24 hour period. First, let's look at the other pools. Here's mining pool stats. So the only other pool is sunpool.top. And I'm on raid pool right here. Just whatever one you want to choose, that's up to you. Just make sure you edit the bat file. All right, let's head over to miner stat and go ahead and look into this. You can enter your hash rate. Like you can see, I've already pre-populated mine. 400 watts power, about 69 hashes. 1% pool fee, there's my electricity cost, and you just click calculate. And it would give you a rough estimate, 190 gram. The pool said I would be getting 230, but you know, it's pretty close. All right, so as you can see, this coin has no data on the price and market. It is on one exchange, which is right here. And we're sitting at about half a penny right now. Unfortunately, if you're in the US, you cannot use this exchange. And a little pop-up, I think, let me hit refresh real quick. And you'll get this little warning right here that will say, ByteX does not serve the customers in the following countries or regions, and there is USA right there. So if you wanted to actually mine this coin and sell it immediately, you might be out of luck if you live in the US or any of those other countries that were listed. But it's been kind of holding steady right around in here, 70 to 80. I'm guessing that's going to be Satoshis. I don't know if that's 70 Satoshis or 700 Satoshis. Maybe somebody could comment down below at six zeros. So I'm guessing that's going to be 70 Satoshis, maybe. Let me know down below. All right, so that's about going to wrap it up for Grim. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to put them down below. Now we're going to jump into my mobile studio and we're going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Alright, so here we are on my website, thecryptofish.com. Real quick before we move on to picking a winner, enter your email address right here real quick. Click subscribe. That way every Wednesday when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified and you won't have to worry about missing the Enter to Win video. Alright, so let's go to the dashboard. Bitcoin Fridays 10-25-2019. 71 contestants this week, 1,621 entries. Let's go ahead and click Manage Giveaway. All right, so if you should happen to not win this week, don't worry about it. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the Enter to Win video comes out. Also, be subscribed to my email list as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click Draw, and we're going to go ahead and pick ourselves a winner this week. Good luck, everybody. All right, so we have Chris. Chris, congratulations on winning this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Let me go ahead and confirm Chris. All right, Chris is now confirmed. I'm going to go ahead and notify him. All right, and Chris has been notified. Chris, when you receive the email, just respond to it with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will send you the winnings on over. I want to thank you for playing this week. I appreciate it. I want to thank everyone for playing this week. Again, I do this every week, so don't worry if you didn't win. We'll have chances every week to win. If you guys are interested in more speculative coin mining videos, I have a ton of them coming up here in a sec. Be sure to go ahead and check that series out. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell and hammer those likes if you like this video. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.